I have been on this foundation craze for a while. This foundation blew up on YouTube. I feel like everyone has been talking about it for a long time. And it's been going on for a few months. I think ever since uh, early summer or maybe even springtime. Um, so I was really curious about this foundation. I wanted to order it, but it's, it was out of stock. Yes, I'm talking about the ordinary. Everyone is raving about this, or at least the reviews that I watched were raving about this and saying how good it is. And I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. I was on a wait, wait list because I guess they had some problems with their pumps. They were, they didn't have enough pumps or there was something wrong with their pumps. So they, um, they were on, a, everyone was on a wait list. So they were out for a long time and it made me curious because of that, because of that whole scarcity, um, it made me curious about this foundation and I thought, what is this foundation that's sold out everywhere? So, um, or on their website. Finally, they emailed me, notified me that they had it in, in stock, but that was back in July and somehow I missed that email in my uh, inbox. So I didn't see it and then I got really curious end of August and I thought, it's been a long time since they've restocked. Let me go check their website. And it was restocked. It happened that I missed the, missed the notification, but finally I ordered it. It got here about a week, which was not bad at all. The only thing was that, um, there were some shades that were out, but I didn't want to wait anymore because I didn't know when they would restock again. So I went ahead and got two of the serum foundation and two of the full coverage foundation. Now the full coverage foundation, they were these shades were available to me for me. Um, the shade 1.2Y, which is a light, was available. And then the shade... What do you need, baby? Like, um, and then the other shade I got was 2.1, which is a medium, and that's 2.1Y, uh, which is a medium and has the yellow tone. So the Y stands for yellow tone, uh, the P is for pink and N neutral, and I can't remember what the other one was. But so I ended up getting the Ys, because I really should have probably gotten the neutral, but since they were out, I couldn't get it. On the serum, I got the uh, 2.1 yellow, which is a medium, color and then I got the 3.0 yellow which is way way dark for me and this one is a medium dark so I kind of knew it was going to be a darker shade but I thought I didn't know how their ranges were or how their color shades um, fall into so I got a darker one just in case I needed to mix it with something else there's 1.0 ounces of foundation in this um, and it's pretty typical of how much foundations are. Sometimes some brands go a little bit over 1.0 ounces, but um, this is normally how much is in there. So, and it's $6.90 um, that I bought, and I bought it from their website, The Ordinary. If you Google it, The Ordinary, it'll take you right to their website. So let's try these two. I feel like this is gonna be way too light for me. Behind the actual box, it says that, um, you know, shake well and then put uh, put it on the palm of your hand. So I'm feeling like they want you to apply this with with your hands. I'm gonna try one side with a hand and one side with a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender, see how it works out. So first I'm gonna swatch this one, see how it turns out. I'm just gonna get a little bit and put it right here. Is this the, yeah, this is the full coverage, coverage foundation. Okay, so feels really light. I mean, the foundation, the actual foundation feels really light. Okay, now let's try the 2.1. I just, actually, let me shake it. Now I'm gonna try the 2.1 next to it right here. They're, the yellows are really yellow. I wish that I had, oh, I was able to buy the neutral one. Um, I'm gonna blend it in and see how it works. So what I'm gonna do, straight go on my finger like this, and then I'm gonna do another pump. Try to do half a pump if I can. Like this, and let's, let's try this. Oh my gosh, it's pretty full coverage. Whoa. I don't know if this is gonna be, this is way a lot. 
What I would probably do is mix it in a tray or something and then apply it because I think two pumps can cover the entire face. I'm going to use my beauty blender. This is a damp beauty blender. I put a full pump of the darker one and a little bit of the, the lighter one. So I'm going to try the same method. Actually, what I'm going to do is mix these together on here. Woohoo! This is definitely full coverage. I would say, I would say definitely full coverage, medium to full coverage. Actually, it works with the Damp Beauty Blender too. I, they're both the same to me. The application with the hand and the application with the Beauty Blender look almost the same. The color is so off, you guys. It is way too dark. I would probably add equal amounts of the light shade and the medium shade. It just looks like I could go a little lighter. And in the winter time, it's definitely going to be much lighter. I'm going to bring it forward so you can see better. So this is how it looks like close up. You can see that it doesn't really blur out uh, pore area. And for full coverage, it actually looks OK. I mean, besides this part being not really being uh, blurred out, normally I apply a pore minimizing primer and I didn't do that because I wanted to show how it looks without any primers if you don't wear primers this is if and if you have in large pores it's not gonna reduce or blur out those areas so everything is just still there I would definitely put on a primer when I want to wear this the color is way off you guys it's way off I think just going by by the chart it just it did not help me at all. <laughs> so let's see how it turns out by the time I'm finished with the rest of the makeup. Okay, I'll be back. I think I needed to add a little bit more of this lighter one in here to get even a better um, match to my skin. But I really like the coverage. I really like how lightweight, how watery, and that's the kind of foundation I like. I like more watery, um, lighter coverage, but it gives you a nice coverage, if that makes sense. It's not cakey but it gives you a nice coverage so it kind of evened out the redness on my skin it made it made the colors the color on my skin more evened out even though it didn't match <laughs> it made it more evened out it took the redness out it gave me good coverage but it didn't blur out anything so uh, if you do wear primers which i didn't do that i never do that for my foundation reviews just because I want to see how the foundation is actually working. Um, if you are not used to wearing primers with this foundation, you have to, if you have large pores, and you, if those are your concerns, you need to wear a primer, a face, uh, a pore minimizing primer. Since this was my first time trying it on my face, I feel like I need to try it a couple times more, and I will come back here and tell you more about it. If it does become um, my favorite, I will tell you. As of now, it didn't totally blow me away. It didn't feel like the best foundation Ooh. <laughs> on YouTube. But I mean, it, it's good. It's good if you don't have, um, if you like this kind of really light, kind of runny foundation. But if you are into like the, you know, really, really full coverage and kind of not afraid to put foundation on. I don't know if you're really going to love this. If you do get it, get maybe two shades. I mean, they're $6.90. They're, they're affordable enough to be able to get two shades to match, uh, to mix and match. Definitely, I suggest if you don't know exactly, if you feel like you may be a little bit light, but then you feel like you're in between light and medium, definitely do get two colors. Um, as of now, it's just an okay foundation. It feels like it, it would be good to mix with other foundations too, especially the serum. You can definitely use it as a mixer kind of foundation. So I could see that happening with the, the serum ones. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, mini review and first impression of the Ordinary Foundation. If you have used this foundation, let me know um, how you like it, what you like about it, what you don't like about it. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. 
Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.